it's the full moon. It's work it Wednesday, not work it work it, but shadow work. I don't know who needs to hear this. Smile on your face and not a day. Go they say now you're in a better place. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's this, I've been noticing my, like, even without, like, this and stuff, my story, like, p picking up, I'm like, hey, if you can pick up, it'd be good, because in this way, it helps a lot of people. Yeah, I'm super excited, so, um, I'm just gonna ask you questions, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so, um, I know you and I have talked briefly and things like that, and there's a lot of people excited to be in here to hear your story, because we love to hear stories. What 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 makes you want to share your story? Why is it important to tell your story? My hope is that of all of this is pretty much that hey, people who have autism and who are and stuff or whatever, at least can, it shows them that hey, look at yes, you have autism, but you and whatever. But it's like you at least can go and be like, hey, yes, I can still go make a family, make it everything, and still have like a good life and stuff, and still make good money and. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that. I, I told everyone else I have a special place for spectrum just in general, because my grandson is autistic and he's nonverbal. And so I've experienced firsthand how people will say, oh, they have autism. They can't do that. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I say, hey, look at, I'll watch the sim, hold my beer and watch, and watch and I'll, go, I'll go right to work. Yeah. Because I've, yeah. I've been doing, because um, I've been doing this, I've been working since I was 18. Yeah. And stuff and everything. Um, pretty much like this, last year before I left um, my foreign place where I used to work, I put down, I put money down on a tractor. That's $25,000. I'm still paying onto it. I have $21,350 left to pay onto it. But yeah. I'm hoping to at least get it done in a couple of years if I can get it down. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that so much. Um, what is, uh, I just, I have so many questions. So can you take me to a time? Um, what was it like when you were younger and you were in school and things like that? How did everything affect you just being in school? Did you have a lot of friends? Can you talk to me about your school life? Yeah, pretty much. So I know you know me now and being a talker and stuff. Yeah. Way back then, I was not a talker. I would always be like a person in the corner and stuff. No, I would be like in stuff. But it's not. But here's the thing: it's like I um went to get check, went to uh, Garrison way back, like before they even closed. Like we had flooding and stuff and everything like that. It was always the annoying part. It's like when it always rains, we it would always get flooded here. So it's like you would all in the basement get flooded. Well, then you had to get ship up to high school and be there for whatever, but in stuff. And then I'm like, all right, sixth grade, I end, I think it was six. Yeah. It was like whatever year I ended that. And then I went to Good Shepherd and stuff, which was amazing and stuff and everything. I was there for, um, all, tw all the way up to 12. And well, that's where I met, yeah, 12th grade. And that's where, um, I met my amazing teacher and stuff where she was like, she just opened, opened up and everything. And just had, and then I just started talking, and then I was like, okay, I've opened up, all right. And then like even now, it's like even like even once in a while when I go, it's like people like um come out and stuff, and just be like, if I know like if I know you hang out with my grand my grand my parents or my grand like my my grandparents or anybody that I'm with, it's like, well, uh, we lost Kyle because <laughs> he <laughs> found someone they talk to and stuff. I'm like, hey, look at I'm sorry that I know so many people. <laughs> That's good though. That's really good. <laughs> Did you, um, you said that you didn't talk a lot when you were younger, that one day you just decided you just started talking more? Well, yeah. Well, what it was is my teacher, I was always like, no, I was always like, more, my one teacher, Miss Lasky, she was a great teacher and I, I, I talked to her much and stuff, but 
Um, she was the one that helped me open, like, open up the floodgates per se, and then it's now this is what it blossomed them up to. Yeah, I love that. Do do you? Um, I want to talk to you about how I know you said you went to high school, and then did you say that you got to go to junior college or you got to go to college? I went to um, a private school, LCC, and stuff. Okay. And let's. What did you? What did you do there? So, have you ever heard of a transfers program? I have. So, like, if anybody for like who comes from high school into the, like, can go there because it helps them transition and stuff and everything and all that. And also, too, is like, yeah, I mean, for me, it was like, yeah, so it took me a while to get used to the college scene and everything like that. But once I did, I was like, okay. <laughs> and there's, I have, it was, so we had here in here in Jew Andrews. I think it's out in Pittsburgh. Mom, me and mom okay. to, like she was like, we were just like, no, I want us to go here because I like the LCC. It was a lot better. Like, like, yes, I paid. Yes, I did. But it was like took the place test, did that, and then because I my 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 goal was being Connor Hurts and stuff. Like I can literally right. make like center rolls and stuff like that and everything. I had a good blast like there and did all that. You like the thing. Yeah, I had like I bake like around the holidays sometimes and everything, and all that. Okay. But yeah, so I so I had a Connor Arts for at least nineteen before the pan. I did it for quite a while. I was there for quite a while with the whole Connor Arts thing and doing that. And nineteen, Connor. yeah, Connor Arts. It was really great. And I'm like, the best part was the baking part. <laughs> the me. baking part. Yeah, trust me. It's like so you know those containers you get and stuff from the store. Uh-huh. I'd bring containers of like soup or whatever I need for that day. I'd bring that home. And my grandfather would be like, uh, where are we going to eat? I'm like, I can't eat all this. I'm, like, I'm sorry. I just like, I'm bringing so Because we have like recipes, like they're huge and stuff. Uh-huh. And you'd make like so much of it and then you'd take it all home and then be like, all right, here you go. I've had it. <laughs> Well, I mean, a good cook always eats or tastes what they make. So you oh, know yeah, it's I good do. or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite thing to cook? I actually do. I do chicken a lot. Like, I can roast some chicken and stuff, too. Chicken? And everything. Yeah. Like, I do like that. And sometimes, like, it depends. I make good meatloaf and everything and all that. Do you like to do, uh, like, meat and, and meals? Or do you like to do, like, baked goods, like cookies and cinnamon rolls and all that, that stuff? Yeah, I like to do that. All that's for all of that is during like the summer, like the like um winter fall time because that's when it's a little cooler here. It isn't at, like you don't have the whole kitchen like <laughs> roasting yourself in there. Right, right. And now, do people in your family expect you to bring good food everywhere you go? No, no, I, I am. They're like no, nope. <laughs> but um, I actually do like the summer. I was like. Here's a secret to cinnamon rolls. You find, I have a recipe too, but um, use pastry flour. Pastry flour is the best thing is, because okay. here's the difference. So take like, if you ever if you ever do pastry flour or flour, just take the, like, you can clump it in your hand and stuff. If you clump it in your hand, you can tell it's like, it has that gluten. So what it is, it, it holds it together. With the other, with um, pastry flour, it doesn't hold to, too well because it doesn't have that gluten. And gotcha. they make it, the first time I made it with the made it with the actual um pastry roll, okay, I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> These are so good. I make <laughs> like the rest yeah. The main the one I usually make is like fourteen makes fourteen dozen. Like it and stuff. Oh wow. Yeah, it makes a lot. Wow, wow. Thank you for the gifts, guys. We appreciate you. Yeah, thanks everyone. What 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 is Let's see. What are some things that you think? How do I say this? What do you think some things are with you that autism that you do have helps you think differently than other people? That's a benefit for you. Do you have things like that that you think? I I like to think that anyone who's on the spectrum has a superpower. That's in my mind because I think it's amazing because everyone else thinks the same and so when i run across people that think differently i embrace it and love it yeah it's like i look at it as like even like even when i look at it as like yes this is a great opportunity here but also too is like 
I like that as I can pump you too, like like actually go and promote you more too and help you get your subscribers too. Even stuff like that. It's like so here's a Bex here's a Bex example I had. Yeah. Is that okay. I have a pro shop a little up here. He so it was it's a tragedy side. But he was he just started up and like whatever and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Cool, whatever. I like him what all right. Built him up. He's now making so he's now having customers out his door, out his line and Aww. stuff that and everything. I got him to build I got him I built him up so much that literally has the customers. Cause the ba- like it's really the base of it is customers and coming in, but also too where you need the customers or like if you're a bowler like me or whatever, it's like you need the youth in there first. If you need the youth that also will follow. Cause yeah. it's like cause kids are like the kids are like, hey mom, you dad, whatever, I want this or whatever. I'm like, it's mom! The end. <laughs> Take me mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. What are some things that you like to do for fun? I pretty much a big bowler. I pretty much been to New York, New Jersey. Delaware, all over and stuff like that's it. And then, um, I used to fish years ago before I got super busy with work and everything. Yeah. Go out at night time, be like fishing. Be like, hey, here you go. <laughs> Do you? So I, I don't think that we've talked about. So you did a transition to to help you into school and things like that, and then you did get a job and and. Was that first job you got, like the keeper one, the the one that you thought, yes, this is what I want to do, or did you change jobs? So the, what it was, so the job was okay. City Marcus was good. Like they, so what it is, is you go step by step and everything. They help you find a job and you're, like it's called. You go over and then step by step help get a job and everything okay. like that. After the night, after three months and stuff, you are pre, you can. The employer can at, like hire or like or whatever and stuff, but I got hired and stuff. I was there for like um two years, maybe. I'm not too sure. It's, oh wow! And, yeah, I was there for a while and, and stuff. I'm like, okay. And after a while, I was like, the pay wasn't really good. I was I was college was still because then it was like still going to college, so like still kind of having to pay that college bill. But then once you got into calling arts, it's like calling arts really kicked it up to like a thousand dollars. Yeah. And stuff. And that's where it's like, then that's where everything goes. I'm like, yeah, it's not getting working out here. And like, I had a, like, so I have a point. So it's like, I had, so I did, I like, I applied for jobs and stuff, like for, um, my surname and stuff. And then, um, uh, Red, Red Speeds is up here and locally here. Well, of course, I got a call the one day and like, hey, can you come over here for you? I'm like, uh, no, not right now. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, no, um, I don't look good. I just, I'm still, I just got done with work. Don't feel like going out for high quick shot and have to go back. Up. And I'm like, can we schedule her name? No, click. I'm like, okay. So then, <laughs> I'm like, okay. So then, I'm like, all right. And then, my son called me. I'm like, oh, yeah, you went out here. I did the work, got there. I was there for at least six months and everything. And then, Went over city, went over to Miss Cordia because there was it was Mets at it's still I don't know I think it's still Mets at the time and stuff but yeah I had Mets and I was making good money like eight fifteen like going from seven twenty five an hour to eight fifteen an hour I'm like okay I can do I can do this right, and, right. And you're making plus the tax and everything too yeah so I was there for like nine or six months and then I'm like okay and then twenty yeah twenty nineteen of February of fifth. Very first of 2019 is when I got hired at Grotto and stuff mm-hmm. and everything. Um, so yeah, I was there for a good three years and stuff and everything. Um, yeah, it was like you be had during like that was winter like so to preference restaurants and like if you're in like a restaurant that does really good business like especially it's the Western business understand it's more of like you have your busy season now to like say. December to like that December into like a little bit of January, and then after that you're just dying out until like until the springtime and stuff like that. Because I was there and like and stuff I'm like yeah we're doing good. Like, the first pay the first time I made it was like for fifteen hour plus this I'm like that is not kind of cut it. I was only <laughs> and stuff and I'm fine. Then maybe up to eight fifteen hour then then tops out at nine and stuff and then after that I was like okay 
Like I was, just, it was done. I'm, I'm out. Now, so, um, go ahead. Okay. Nope, go ahead. <laughs> this was there. I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm out. I just can't do this anymore because it was. As a person with autism, it does, it does really, like, does take a toll on your mental health. Yeah, yeah. Did um, and now, now you're. Are you currently still working at a pizza place? No, I'm in a nursing home now. Oh, you're working in a nursing home. Okay. Yeah. What What do you do there? Um, I'm entirely to age slash cook. Okay. And do you enjoy that? Oh yes, I do. It's a lot better. It's a lot because it's pretty. Yeah, because um, say that you're not going like, say one day you're going at three o'clock to like eight o'clock and eight and nine ten o'clock at night or whatever, and then you're next day. Next day you have to be like if it's a weekend while you're like you have to be up by eleven to be there for noon until eight oh. if it's a double. Okay. This is where it's a set schedule where hey, I know I'm getting done by three o'clock. Anything after that is overtime and stuff, and it's like. Cause I work, cause I restaurants make you once you work every weekend. Mm -hmm. This is every other weekend. And I'm like, Woohoo! I love so this. Get, so you get some you time instead of having yeah. to do the whole thing. I love that. Do you uh, do you do better with consistency as far as having the set hours? I mean, I do myself. I love that so much better. Yeah, and it's easier because I, yeah, it's a lot easier because I. I used to work over in our, our, our like uh, North Slope, where it was like you had whatever. It's like oh, come I'm like, and it didn't work out. And I'm like, I can't do it. You gotta give me a test of time because I'm still because I came from restaurants and so much of that to where it's like, mm -hmm. hey, you guys set time and everything like that, and that's what I'm used to. Yeah. And now it's like now it's like yes, now I'm making fourteen dollars an hour um, and stuff and everything, and I'm making and making over six hundred dollars every two weeks and everything. And it, yeah. Did you, when you were younger, think that you would ever be doing this? I mean, is that something, did you ever allow um, any any personal thoughts? Because we all have the inner dialogue of like, I don't like myself, right? If I could just be this, if I could just be that. Did you ever struggle with mental health growing up and being? Um, Not really, it, just, it, didn't, it didn't really affect me until I at least got into Grotto and after. After leaving Grotto then seeing yes, it was more of because <laughs> you have I'm so I'm I'm pretty much it's like you're dealing with teenagers, like people who are just like like sixteen and not even eighteen like six between sixteen and like the eighteen and stuff that are just coming adults and stuff and I'm like Right. There are days where I'm like I just feel like, okay, I'm not the manager. Please go find the manager and stuff. Because there would be days where I would have to go there and be like, go out and do tables or something because the waitresses would be mad at me, like, telling me, I'm like, I can't say things. I can't, say, like, I'm not the man. I'm like, I'm not the man. I'm like, I'm not, like, I'm telling people, like, people go do everything. I can't do everything myself. Like, yes, there was, yes. When I first got hired, there was a couple times where I was by myself. I literally had to do, um, table, like, clean tables out in, the, out in the, like, the restaurant, the bar and stuff. And, do dishes and everything and keep all that up and, and everything like that. Yeah. So it's good. It, it gets crazy, especially during the stuff. Like now during the summer time, you have pretty much a lot of people. Like you have like, um, dining room, oh, bar open, and then you have to go pump gas too and stuff. And, and let me tell you that when you have gas and we have boats there, forget it. You might as well just put a, like a sign and be like, here, I'm your guest attendant for the day. What's, what's your favorite, I guess, what, what are the things that you learn from working in the restaurant versus where you are working now in the nursing home? Are there things that you learned, I guess, that you absolutely are like, I never want to do again? And, and what are the good things versus the bad things working in a restaurant for you? For me, it's like knowing that at least, yes, I have a set schedule I've set out, but also the thing about it is that it's not getting paid under the table with like with tips it's like you're getting straight pay and that's in stuff and two is like <laughs> yes if you come from restaurants into how how tour system it is a big shock here at first because it's like whoa you used to like you've been doing restaurants for six seven years and stuff it's like <laughs> okay 
A lot of things have changed. Like it's more of now you have to worry about diets and everything like that and mm-hmm. and stuff like that. To where restaurants you don't. You just give them the food. Like they just you just order it and okay, here you go and stuff. And then, and then, then they go and, away. But healthcare, yeah. they're still there. Yeah, <laughs> they're still there. <laughs> yeah. Do you have uh, any? Do you have any goals or things that you want to do in the future? What what plans? Because you know you've been around in my lives, and I talk a lot about manifesting and things like that. Do you have things that you want to do with your life as well? I will show you. This is so. This is where the tracker comes into play, and in kind of if I get time too. Okay. I don't know. I have four and a half acres here and stuff. Oh, all wow. in the back there, I have. I want to go build, take all that out and stuff mm-hmm. and everything and do is go and actually put a building up. No, that's going to cost a lot of money. But I mean, if I can put a building up, I can put the tractor and stuff in there and everything like that. That's where I want to go take that. And that's where my plans are going to and stuff. And eventually wanting to become a manager too and stuff. And this way, hey, I get every weekend off and I only have and stuff and everything like that. I mean, I don't mind every every weekend, but it's just like, it gives me, the way I look at it as a for a manager, it looks like the way I look at it is I can go and be like, hey, I have a movie for stuff, don't call me, don't text me, I will not be here around. <laughs> I, I wish my management style was like that. <laughs> <laughs> do you are you wanting to build the building and do something specific i know you said did you say you have a tractor yeah i'm actually i'm on the i'm actually um working on a tractor because um and mm-hmm. stuff like the tractor i actually want to get and actually i actually um because it's pretty much i paid twenty five thousand dollars for the tractor oh wow yeah Cause, um, so the tractor I got was like a nice one. Like there's a lot of things I did, to, like I bought for it, like literally. Mm-hmm. But the nice thing about it is that since it's a coyote and stuff, um, I could get pretty much like a lot, like pretty much a lot for it. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Oh, nice. So what I got with that one is I got a front loader, a backhoe, and stuff with it and everything. And I pretty much, I put it on layaway cause, and everything like that mm-hmm. so that I can pay it as I go and everything. And then pretty much I've been doing that since 2021. 20, yeah, 21. Cause it, that's and, you, and do you have any attachments? Yes, I do. I have I have uh, a backhoe and a front, uh, front loader coming with it. What do you, are you going to do like gardening out there? I know you said you're going to build a building. Are you building the building yourself or are you just, no, I'm, I'm just going to clear that out and stuff uh-huh. so that I can put the building there. I don't want to use put concrete and stuff with it because I'm, I don't, I know they tell you to put gravel on it and like, I don't want to. Concrete's better because in this way I can actually work on, like actually put my attachments there and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I can have it, but also too, is I can have it heated too if I want. Like, oh. there's a there's a lot of things that I have been planning working on for that, and I need to like clear that out and get rid of stumps that are in there and stuff, and level all that out and everything. Nice, I love that. I and it's beautiful out there. You're very lucky to have that land. That's beautiful. I even have, all the way, like, if you keep going, I have a creek all the way down there and stuff, and then I have oh, like I love that. I have all of this, and then all the way down where the creek is partially on that side. I have more land too. Nice, nice. I love having water and land and things like that. I live in the city and I've always lived in the city, but I love to disappear. <laughs> That's what I say. I love to disappear into tree land or wherever I, I decide to go. But I love that. Do you spend a lot of time outside? I do. I pretty much, um, I actually do a lot of stuff outside. Like I cleared, mo- like most of it, I cleared with my chainsaws and stuff. Like Oh and wow! Everything. Yeah, and I still like I there's like trees that I because the, there used to be a big tree up here that used to stand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I took that down, <laughs> and then it, and everything. That's yeah, a lot I of do, work. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, 
I have like um, boots that I wear and stuff and everything, and I pretty much stay out. Like I love the like I love the guy here. Like so, the way I to, like I mean the way I like I was like, hey, so you're in the city. Well, go out out to like the woods or something. You can tell the different different changes and stuff. Like you can I can go up to uptown and I can feel like how warm it is up there. I yeah. can come down here. It's a lot warmer because it's a lot open and stuff. Yeah, it's there. It's just a whole different energy whenever you're in a place that's crowded with other energies versus not. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, do you have? Um, are you okay with everyone asking questions? If they have any questions, yeah, for go, you? yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I mean, do you guys? Do you guys have any questions? I just really wanted to have him on and allow him to tell his story and chit chat and. Meet him face to face. <laughs> Let's see if anybody has any questions. What's your favorite subject in school? Or was your favorite subject in school? I don't know. <laughs> I really, English wasn't really good. <laughs> English wasn't, I mean, English was all right. I mean, I didn't really have any favorite subjects really. It was like, I think art was better. I think art was the better one and stuff. Like art? Reading. Yeah, you can just draw and be like, okay. <laughs> That's the same. I'm so much that person. I'm like, don't ask me to do math, but I can paint you <laughs> anything you want me to do. Just please don't ask for math. Um, let's see, they said they were so proud of you for telling your story and just proud of you. Do you have a favorite band? Do you like music? I have um, Nickelback. I have a bunch of like pop rock country. I have Nickelback, Evanescence, even like a, Evidence is I have the old version and the new songs and stuff. <laughs> right. I, have, I have pretty much um Luke Holmes. I have mm. so I have I have a, like a bunch of people, like a bunch of, a bunch of like um country and like a bunch of country artists and like um pop rock and everything like that. And I listen to it all and so and too is like even like if like even like I'm Pandora and I listen to like the, like whatever I'm Pandora and I'm like okay like and dislike I'm like okay because it's nice because I just because I can go at work and just put my put my AirPod on and be like okay yeah. work, do my stuff and then be like all right whatever pops up yeah 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 now Luke Combs I will say he has such good lyrics like his lyrics are so good I I'm a lyric person so a lot of times the music I like is usually because of lyrics and gosh he has good lyrics. I know the I know the one is I the one I do have is a beautiful crazy button. Yeah, yeah, and that's really good. Yeah, he's he's really talented. Uh, are you okay? This is from Glenn. Are you gonna farm up anything on your land? Land is a lot of work to upkeep. Um, I don't plan on it unless it. I don't plan on it, but I do have. I don't know where that's going to end up with the tractor part of it. I know there's gonna be probably a lot of stuff trying to. Like, fill in and kind of clear stuff out with it and stuff. Like I know I have one side here that I have to clear out and want to like clear up what I need and stuff. This is more of getting the tractor paid off, getting here first and then have, cause then I have to go see you cause attachments are at least 30,000 or more. Mm, gosh. Yeah. They're expensive. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and then I my, my, I say my day job, I'm a manager at a lawn care company. And so we spend a lot of money <laughs> on, on equipment and things like that. I don't think anyone realizes how expensive it really can get unless you've been around it or purchased it yourself. Yeah. Gets a little, little expensive. Let's see if there's any other questions. I think there are, let's see. So they love those songs, those bands. Kyle, I know you've recently begun your spiritual awakening. What is the best thing that one of the best things you've learned so far? All about the clarities and stuff and everything like that. And everything too is that, and also too, you can really, if your intuition is really good, you can really tell a lot of things that I'm not going to say, but you can tell when people are, when you have to read in between the lines per se. Oh, 100%. <laughs> it's, it's always weird when people try to like lie or, like say something that really they don't mean at all and you can read energy and you're like, you know me better than that. Like why even try? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have that experience while you're at work a lot? Um, not a lot, but it depends on, it, sometimes it depends, it's like not a lot and stuff, but 
sometimes I get, like they're saying like so the one so my birth like my birthday was just like last month and stuff and everything and I'm like I knew something like I knew something was up because I knew because <laughs> now I was in the kitchen I'm like I knew something's up I knew there was something yeah. there I'm like yeah and she's like I'm what I'm like my man my man here and she's like oh your person's here I'm like yeah you're not fooling me I know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you you already know. You already know. Yeah, it's always interesting on that because even when people try to hide it, you're like, I can absolutely tell there's something going on. Um, intuitiveness is big, huge. Uh, Glenn says, I've been staying with a friend and their 83-year-old dad on an 11-acre blueberry farm with 1,500 bushes. I love that so much. <laughs> yeah. A lot of upkeep, but gosh, I'd go there and pick berries all day long. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would just eat them all day. Like, I used to, have, like, berries, it's fine. yeah, because all this, like, all this used to be all family property, like, and stuff. Okay. Like, it used to be all family compound and everything. And we used to have, like, like um, a raspberry bush, and I used to just go pick them, eat them. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but, I yeah. Know, like, <laughs> I don't have a lot of land, but I always plant stuff. And so I love to do like my own herbs and things like that. And I have them all over the backyard. There's something special about being able to just go in your backyard and pick something, you know, cause we so much go to the store and we don't know where it comes from and all that different stuff. So it is really neat. <laughs> uh, what is a goal for yourself that you're on track to reach or you will or want to reach very soon? Is there something that's a closer goal that you reach versus some of your bigger ones um i want like i'm actually getting hopefully getting close but i have to i'm actually on the fence i'm looking at like an ipad pro like for that's from apple and stuff but it's like if the here's the thing it's like you can get it now but then you know it's the tire car on apple or something new, new like an ipad or whatever I'm like, yeah so you know it's like it's like i'm like it's almost the end of july like june because you only have another like two weeks or whatever everything and it's like you have like that and, and i'm like you know what? i'll just wait till like september to see if they make sure they don't bring anything else up before i go <laughs> they do, they do. <laughs> i know it's always weird as soon as you get it it's something new <laughs> yeah yeah oh let's see oh i would love to come and pick all those berries i love that so much <laughs> um what is the hardest part in life for you to have to deal with Keeping my mouth shut when keep when I know when I know when things are not doing right. And like, yep, I'm going to keep my mouth shut about that because and stuff so, like the hardest part. And I get you if you, if you understand your manager too. It's like when you have an employee who, like in this install. Like yes, you're telling, but it's like also too. It's like okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not saying anything else because it's like. Nope. Uh, if I do, I know where that's going, and I know where that's heading down. Did it take you a long time to get to the point to where, I mean, because just in general, people in general, it takes some time for people to realize, okay, I need to probably keep my mouth shut. So did it take you a long time to get there to be able to distinguish, like, you have more power over that and for you to navigate through situations and that, that energy field, like, when you're feeling? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, cause it was on... Um... Like, it's, I, like, I had to keep my mouth up today at work about, about <laughs> to be, and stuff. I'm like, um, yeah, because it, and everything, I'm like, yeah, because it was, it was like, I, me or, it's like me and, me and our core are arguing, whatever, and like, me and just like, get involved into it, and I'm like, yep, I'm keeping my shirt because I know where that's going up, because I don't want that. It took like it took it took me a while to to actually learn how to keep my mouth shut and keep my own thoughts to myself yeah. without getting on the without getting on the without getting on the unemployment line. Yeah, no, I I feel that I feel that I have to sometimes rein myself in too. So I I do feel that. Do you? Um, what are what are some things that drive you crazy about people? Like, if you had to tell me things that you're like, I cannot stand people that do this, what are some things that drive you crazy? When you're a micromanager and stuff, and you're just in stuff, I'm like, it's going to get done. If you want it done yourself, go do your damn self. <laughs> it's a 10 times a lot easier. 
it's like and stuff like I have learned that from like restaurants. It's like if you need yeah. things done, you might as well just go get these done and stuff. It's yeah. already there. You know, stuff won't get done. And you don't have to yeah. wait for their person to decide. Ah, I'm like ten days, ten days, ten business days later, they finally got around to it. <laughs> and there they thought it wasn't going to get done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are some things that you really love and admire about other people? Um, where I'm working now, it's like it was. There we had an issue like with um, one of the nurses and stuff and everything and and of course nurses the nurse was like oh you're throwing my stuff out of my food I'm like a you know the rules b you you know not to throw stuff in there because so for the nursing home for healthcare and stuff like that so mm-hmm. like you ha- so say I have like this that I just threw in there but I didn't, like I have milk in here well I didn't leave mm-hmm. or did it it'll get the next day it'll get tossed out or it'll get tossed out that day because it's not, you don't have your name on it. You don't have a label, you don't have it for seven right. days. So it's not our fault that we're throwing out. It's more your fault thrown out and stuff because it's like, you are not putting your name onto it. You're not labeling it and stuff. And there is a break room that you can throw yourself into. And stuff. <laughs> he was, oh, he was like, oh, you're, you're, he's like, this is the first, this is the second time I disrespect, you disrespect me. I'm like, no, I didn't disrespect you. You're just more mad about it because your food got tossed out and stuff. And, and yeah, manager, and, man, and manager was like, "Yeah, we." It's like manager was like, "You was doing his job." I'm like, "Yeah, I was." I'm like, and then the whole like the whole like actually the, the whole like all the whole kitchen like, "Yeah, we got your back." I'm like, "All right, uh, where's the exit sign?" So I can go out and just be like, "Okay, I'm done. I'm out for that day." <laughs> They're like, I'm done. If you can't, so are you a rule follower at work? I mean, there's, there's, there's people who only do their job when someone's watching, and then there's people who follow the rules and do good what they're supposed to do. Are you? Yeah, the rule- follow, yeah, because it's pretty much like if you, because it's so. Here's the best thing, and I, and this is what I always looked, like, and this is where I kind of like wish I knew this before I went to healthcare. Sure. So people, so and I, and you can use this too. People by themselves, managers do not. So if you and stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, where was that? Like the whole like other half of the time I was working, because yeah. I'm like, yeah, that okay, that really yeah, that really hits home there. Like in stuff, it really yeah. hits. And so I'm like, wow. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely there's there's definitely two different kinds of people in the workplace. There's the ones that will do their job because it's their job and that's what they're supposed to do and they want to do their best that they can. And then the ones that are like, eh, blah, someone else will do it. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I don't do my stuff. Like, I don't get stuff done and get everything done. Like, yeah. like applesauce is like, we have to be like, they have, like, we do a tray over it. It's like applesauce and pudding together so that they have it for MedPass and all that and stuff. Right. So that this way they get it out and stuff and that and everything. So that this way the residents at least have it for themselves and everything. So that. Way. But and then usually you have to do that stock stations, make sure. Let's see, they said I keeping keeping it in and not telling people off can be hard. I'm just reading you some things that people are saying. Um yes, I worked in healthcare for a year. Um It can be, that's when we have to look from the higher perspective. Have you noticed since you started your spiritual journey that that helps you how you react sometimes to other people? Do you, have you had any experience yeah. with that? Some, like, I know there's like, in, I actually, and this is like, sometimes, yes, it's like, you do realize like, um, even like when you're still like, yeah, and stuff like, yeah, you do realize, but also too, is you do also realize that you do pick up on other things, like especially if someone's yeah. like um, not in good mood or whatever, like you and stuff. Oh gosh! And you and uh, yeah, don't worry, Anna. This to you, like a nursing home, you'll pick up so much more. Do that. I am <laughs> learning that. No, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> no, you can definitely feel everybody's everything there. I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's funny. Um, Jen says. I know it's generic, but if you could meet anyone you wanted, who would it be and why? I would love to go meet you because I figure, because I figure, I mean, too, is like, I mean, I'd love to meet 
all the with everyone and stuff too. But I think you're you you have amazing conversation in person and kind of really. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah. I do. I do. I can't wait to be able to travel and meet everybody. I I think I appreciate you jumping on and sharing your story because I know it's not easy to share your story typically, especially when you're not usually out in the open talking to people, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. And and I've been so blessed to meet so many people on here. And so it's so important for me to keep pushing forward. That way I can come meet everybody. So I, I would love that very much. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you guys have any other questions for him? We have a few more minutes. I have a problem with not thinking before I speak way too often work in progress. Same. I think we're all work in progress, especially. <laughs> oh yeah. Sometimes you're like, did I just say that? Why did I say that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you have a favorite famous person that has been very inspiring to you or a favorite book? Oh, I had a book years ago. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not a big book reader. Yeah. And stuff. Um, I had a year, book years ago. I don't know what happened to it. Um, it had to do with civil war and stuff mm -hmm. and with dogs. And yes, I'm a big dog lover and stuff and everything like that. Um, I read that book from, from cover to back and stuff. And like, yeah, it was the best book ever. And then, I wrote like I um, read a couple of, like um, other books too and stuff, but I'm um, everything like that. But I'm not a one... big book reader. I I can't retain it unless I'm really interested in it. If I'm really interested, in it, then I can read it and retain. Otherwise, I I don't I don't yeah. keep it. <laughs> don't keep it. <laughs> yeah. But um, I actually got signed too and stuff because i think it was by the author that was there because i think it was i was like an antietam one year because i was the boy scout years ago and stuff too and everything so yeah i did a lot in my i did a lot and stuff and everything and all that you got to meet the author though yeah it was very nice i like that that's fun you're not a book reader either same reasons yeah i just don't i don't retain it unless it's something i'm really into so when i would study i'd like highlight the important parts so i'd like have that post-it note in my mind to remember for important things. So I, I feel that. Do you have favorite movies? Um, the Christmas story. Oh, that's a good one. That's yeah. so good. <laughs> oh, I know. It's like, I think it was, there's, I think there was the TikTok and it's like, if you had 24, like one movie you can watch for 24 hours only. I just put the Christmas, put the Christmas I know. story well, on and just to watch that. Doesn't it come on for 24 hours around Thanksgiving time? I think yeah it, no it comes around Thanksgiving but I think it also yeah it runs around that okay I think, it, I think also to Christmas too I know it runs forever I'm like I know yeah. I love it I, I I love it so much I love that movie I do you're not uh Widow of the South is a great Civil War book with real facts of war as well as what Miss Rebel says <laughs> Christmas Day 24 hours yes <laughs> when they put him <laughs> in the bunny suit <laughs> oh I know that's yeah that's the funniest one. It's like, or I like when he's like beating up the other kid, but he's crying while he's doing it. I always say that's how I would beat someone up. Like, I can't. <laughs> that's what I would do. <laughs> Let's see. Have you ever seen North and South? Is I have no, I've never seen North or South. Um, I did go to Gainsbury and stuff one year too. Like, everything oh, nice. like that. Um, have you heard of Jumper Boy? Heard of what? Jummer Boy. It's a campground. No, I have not. It's, no. Oh. Okay. It's a campground. It's pretty much, it's the beautiful thing ever. Like, you have, like, um, like, cabins and stuff there. And oh, nice. Like that. Yeah, it was, we went down there a couple of times and stuff and everything. It was very nice and stuff, like, everything like that. To where it's like, yeah, you had, like, all that and stuff. Like, you've had, like, a lot there. And I had a catfish pole, like, like oh. this big. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see that that got pushing the leg got taking the leg because <laughs> the catfish are about this big. Yeah, and stuff. <laughs> they're cute, like everything. 
But uh, we, have, we have some catfish. Well, I say we have mean catfish. I think they're all maybe they're not mean. Maybe it's because we're trying to get them. But I was like, I don't really like catfish. I try to stay away from them. <laughs> Do you guys have any other questions for him? I appreciate so much you coming on and you're welcome you're on ready. anytime to chit chat about things if you have questions or want to talk about stuff. Um, I know he's the ghost right now. <laughs> Is that your cinnamon rolls? Yes. <laughs> Those look like some good cinnamon rolls. Oh yeah. The icing is cream cheese filling and stuff and everything like that. <laughs> And everything like that. So yeah, I have I baked a lot like in stuff too and everything, um, and all that. It's like yeah, I baked a like, I made that. I mean cream puffs like in stuff and all that. It's like it's a big it's a big undertaking. Like in have stuff. you ever thought about doing a catering business since you love to cook and you're good at it? I have heard that. I mean, I pretty much like, I need. I would have to know like there would be a need like a customer base there for it, like sure. if somebody wanted to yeah. and stuff. Like I had like it's more of like it's like how you start. It's like hey, you need to get one person, and after that, it spreads like on fire. After that, it's like okay. Yeah, you have to find it. You have to find like the clientele and things like that. But that would always be a fun thing to do. I I love to plan parties and plan things. I just cooking i used to do it years ago but i just don't do it that much anymore but it would definitely be a fun uh, business to have for sure oh yeah um they said i'm so proud of you thanks for sharing your story you, you're very welcome you're doing a great job with this interview that's what glenn said so well i i really appreciate you so much and i love having you in the group um you're welcome anytime so if you ever want to jump on, let me know. And I'm sure if any of them have any questions, they know where to find you because I think you're in all the little groups and stuff too. So they also thank you so much for joining. Thank you. You're yeah. very welcome. Yeah, and if anybody wants to reach out to me, I have um, TikTok Messenger, I have Instagram. So my Instagram is linked in my in my bio and stuff and everything too. So okay. and you're I, in are you in uh, you're in Blend Your Spirit, right? Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Facebook too and stuff. And everybody okay. can Oh uh, that yeah. I love trust me, when you hear the blend spray, I'm like, okay. I had a gift on that one. Yep. Click. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to join, he's in there and we're just kind of a big family. You can go to the link in my bio as well. And there's a link that takes you straight to our private group. And it's just kind of a small group. We do some encouraging and things like that, and we're hoping to grow it. We're actually hoping just to take on the world and change the whole world. That's kind of our goal, I think, all of us in there. So you're welcome over there and you can uh, message him and make sure you follow him. That way when he does lives or does videos and things like that, you know where to find him too. Hi, Andy. So, all right. Hey. Oh, thank you so much, Rain. I appreciate you so much and we'll talk very soon. And hey. I will... I will um, put this on YouTube if you're okay with that and over on Spotify hey, too. Please spread it throughout where you need to because it's interesting okay. because this will at least tell people who have autism too. And also too, if the more people that see it, the more people that can hear it, and then we can both like grow, like I can, and stuff like that. That's where my biggest part is like, if I can help someone like grow their, like grow and make it up to where, hey, yes, yeah. I can, and everything like that. That's my whole big goal of it. It's like, Having yeah. someone well, like, yeah, sure. the, the the beauty of knowing you, right? You ran, I ran into you at the at the perfect timing, really, because my grandson was actually just diagnosed, and you know, doctors don't really know, right? They just say what they think. They they say what they think, but they truly don't know. Um, how anybody will progress through life and that goes with any illness for the most part they just have a general guideline and so you're such an inspiration for parents right that have children and you're an inspiration for people who are on the spectrum even if it may not be autism maybe it's asperger's maybe it's just add you know or something but you're an yeah. inspiration because you you've not let anything hold you back no pretty much and also too is that and this is something like even so like yes I do have, I am on Elquist too, to, and everything, because I do have two, I have um, two DVDs and everything too, because it's, um, oh, one was from, from the second dose of COVID shot, and then angle fracture and everything like that, but then there one's from the vote, and I'm like, even that, I'm like, 
I'm still moving forward yeah. and stuff and everything like that. And and yeah. this is where it's like, if anybody want to reach out to me, they're more than welcome to. I will respond back to you. Don't worry and stuff. And this is why it's like nice to at least, yes, I do have my story posted on TikTok video and stuff, but also yeah. to at least get pushed out more and stuff to where, hey, it can go in more in the masses and more yeah. everywhere and stuff and everything. Yeah. Yeah, and I and I think that it's so important for people to realize. I mean, I have talked about the autism because that's a huge part of who you are, but I think it's so important for people to not let that keep them in a box. Like everybody has their shit, so to speak, right? Everybody yeah. has their stuff. Yeah. And it doesn't it, it it doesn't necessarily define who you are a hundred percent. It can enhance part of you or just be part of you and not be the defining factor of where your life goes or how it progresses oh yeah it's like even like so like and i'm and this is where i like not, i like numbers it's a lot easier yeah like i can go and be like okay so i need whatever so i need about 500 like i make 800 dollars. so i need off that I take five and then okay the rest i just got for fig and angle and stuff mm -hmm. and be like okay and stuff like that it's like i know like okay say like i just paid my volume like my volume was like 2003 or two Say two thirty for the, for the year. Well, I just paid that off, and like it was like yeah. and stuff and everything like that. So I and the thing, my thing, the way I do, like I do, like the way I do my stuff is like I make sure, hey, if you get PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, whatever, you get at that time, you get it right at five a.m. when I first get up in the morning. You yeah. pay for it. I don't have to worry about it until like I know when I was like, eh, I'll wait till like the I'll wait until like, about nine nine thirty. No, yeah. everything's getting done right before I go to work yeah. because then this way it's done. You don't have to think about it, it then it's done. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. And yeah, let's definitely work together on some more things as well. And I don't know if you realize there's such a following and, and with just within our group, there are several people who are on the spectrum or have something that affects them in that way. So it truly is more inspiring than probably you even realize for people to be able to hear you. So I I can't say how much I appreciate you. You know, I'll tell, tell you this much. If you want, I'm more than welcome to come back to TPM for you and we share it again for it and stuff. Whoever didn't show up this time and stuff. Okay. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll jump back on. I, I appreciate it. They said it's so much better to hear you talking live, hear your story live. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There's, I've been through a lot and stuff like I think it's just like you keep going going. All right. Well, we will jump off of here. What is one thing that you want people to take from your story? If you could tell them to take one single thing from your story, what would that be? Just know that if you have autism, you can go through. Just know that you, you can keep on going. Yes. Yes. Life is shitty. <laughs> we get that. But you just know <laughs> that you can go and be going through it, everything like that, and still give people, yeah, still make a good living for yourself, still make a good, um, still make good everything like, and stuff, and still nope. know that, still know like, hey, look at yesterday, like I impacted someone today, and whatever. made someone's day. That's still what, have a good life. You can still oh, yeah. be a good person. You can still be happy and help other people. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you so much. I'll You're talk very to you welcome. very soon. Have a good very night. Easy. You too. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys.